Hey, it's the Jason Loz Show. I'm Loz. And I'm Jace. And, and we're, the, we're, Jace we're Jason Loz. Loz. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah. that always makes you laugh every yeah, time. Yeah, that's funny. Um, you know what else doesn't make you laugh? What doesn't make you laugh? Getting Loz? scammed. <laughs> well, um, actually, I got scammed the other day. Really? Not what? really. Oh. Someone stole Not... my credit card. Really? And um... Like, did they mug you? Did you get mugged? Was it... I don't know, how did, how did it happen? Did well, they he came just steal up to it? me on the streets. Yeah, and would, he's like, was he like holding out a gun and was he like, Jason? It was kind of like, it was a stuff. fake gun though. It was like he had his fingers in his in his top and he's like, you're about to say in his money. butt. <laughs> fingers in his butt. Um, <laughs> no, well, okay, what actually happened? Okay, tell um, us. I had my van unlocked and it was just next to the garage and this guy came up onto our property and um onto your property yeah onto wow. my property what a dog i know and he stole my wallet he stole my keys and in my wallet it had my driver's license and my uh debit card so he's just paid i mean not paid he's bought a lot of things on my account how so much stuff has he bought like 200 dollars worth of stuff it's it's so bad that's so mean but, i mean you worked end, hard for that all that money yeah i did in the end it's just money that's true in the end it's just money if I was going to scam someone, I would do it smart. I wouldn't just go and steal it. I would, like, I don't know how I would do it. How would you, like, if you were going to scam someone, how I would, would you do it? I would convince them that, like, I'm their best friend. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> and then I'd be like... And then you pretend that you're, like, like really into drugs and oh, that you're stealing money for, like, drugs. I'll be like, don't worry, these these are just, like, fake purchases. It's not actually something. And I'll convince them, like, they'll be really anti-tech savvy. And yeah. I'll be like... No, it, this just means it, it's putting money into your account. And then yeah, yeah. they'll be like, oh, that's fine. Oh, my God. I just had the... I saw this really funny thing the other day, and it was like uh, it was like a writing prompt. And the writing prompt was like, you're a Nigerian prince who desperately needs to get out of his country. All you need to do is to deposit someone all your money into someone's account for you know to be able to escape or whatever. And I was like, ha. Because <laughs> usually they're scams. Oh, true, yeah. So it was like a funny... Yeah. That's, that's pretty funny, look. Yeah. Um, we're, we're on school holidays right now. We're on school holidays in New South Wales. And, um, I kind of miss school. I miss school. It's so I miss good. school a lot, actually. Yeah. We're kind of... Yeah. What would you class us as, the, the people at school? What kind of people are we? I'd say that we're, like, kind of just, like, the people who have a lot of fun at school, but not, but not like, not nerds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, why do nerds have a lot of fun? No, no, like, we don't have a lot of fun when we're actually doing work. We just have oh, a lot yeah, of fun yeah. when we're outside of class. Like, uh, you know, and in class. Yeah, I prefer... Yeah, sure. <laughs> I prefer to be at school than to, like, have a weekend. All right, here's a, here's a cool story. Fun one fact. time, Well, let's tell them funny school stories. Okay. Funny so, one time, stories. I was in the bottom maths class, and um, Lozzie was talking to the teacher of the top maths class, and he's like, Jace, can, can Jason move into the top class with me and she's like oh I don't know and he's like please 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 and, like, and then she's like sure so I moved that's how I moved from um, bottom maths to top maths easy in one day <laughs> and uh, um, yeah. they're both as easy as each other they they are actually I'd, I'd say that top maths is actually very very easy mm-hmm. what about this, the Prabha stories the Prabha stories we have a teacher at our school called Prabha and she's she's a nice person she's a bit scatty very lovely woman. Very nice, if she, in case she's listening. Um, <laughs> um, one time, we, uh, she was teaching class stuff, and she turned around, and we moved um, all like the all the desks, like on the other to the other side of the room, without her noticing, because she like she goes on and she talks, and she doesn't really notice us behind her. And um, we moved all the desks. All and we the moved, desks. We moved like all of her stuff, and she's like. What just happened? And I was, she got very confused. It was a very funny moment. Yeah. Um. What's next? Diseases. <laughs> um. Loz, if you could create a disease, I would create a disease where all your blood turned into two dollar coins, <laughs> and so you literally exploded with money. <laughs> oh, that's the best. So, idea. like, at least when you're dead, everyone else is really rich everyone else is happy or you're, it's like the best way to make money <laughs> and then people would like like capture people and just get them to die oh, with this man. disease inject them it's kind of like video games like when you kill them you get like points. money oh uh, yeah and you is. could like it's accumulate like real, like, points for killing people yeah except it's like two dollar coins i think that disease would completely change the world it would <laughs> if i could make a disease 
I it would it would be like their um their heart like beats really slow and their blood turns purple and it turns can, purple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just wait for it. So, okay. Okay. you know how purple is the combination of red and blue. Yeah. And um, red means warm blooded and cold means blue blooded. What? Like if 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 you're if you've got red blood, you're warm blooded. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you've got blue blood, you're cold blooded. I is, think. I don't think that's true. <laughs> Anyway, it might be true. <laughs> Let's keep on going. Um, this means you're warm, cold you're, blooded. <laughs> you're lukewarm blooded. <laughs> so, <laughs> the lukewarm blooded disease. So you can go like in the ice waters, and also you can go in the tropics. You can go like anywhere, and mm. you'll be like perfectly fine. And ah. it's not really a bad disease. It's kind of a good disease. It's just a lukewarm disease. Yeah, lukewarmemia. Lukewarmemia. Uh, like that's, that's not such a bad disease. Um, what about like? How do you think like? How do you think modern day diseases came about? Do you reckon they just were like have been like this way for all the time, or do you reckon they evolved from other diseases? They they would have evolved. I think we we could have created some diseases. Do you reckon that cancer's been created, or? Oh, this is going into conspiracy mode right here. I think um, cancer was created by the US government. To, I think it was um, created by Hitler. To demolish vegans. Ah, oh, that makes sense. I don't know about that, but, but <laughs> that kind of makes sense. Um, Have you seen Australia's ads on... Um, cancer? No, it's um, on, like, on like pork or like beef. or like, It's like telling you to eat beef and stuff. And oh, it was and, like, and beef gives you cancer. It's like, convinc- it's like saying... Um, uh, there was a vegan and there was also like a full on meat eater and yeah. then there was like this person who ate like both and then the vegan was like all like depressed and stuff. <laughs> they they fully made the vegan look depressed in an Australian ad about like about like eating beef and pork and stuff. Oh, that's hilarious. Mm. Only you know does apparently I heard that Australia's gonna start microchipping the public. Really? Apparently. Is but like I, I don't think I think it's like an optional thing. I don't think yeah, yeah. But then it's gonna thing. turn into um, it's gonna turn into vaccinations, and it's like you have to have it. Yeah. And you, then otherwise you don't get child support. Then we'll all get tracked. And um, yeah. And what if you want to be a criminal and scam people? You can't do that anymore. <laughs> Our scamming techniques won't work. <sighs> Shame. I uh, think my scamming technique will still work. I'll still be able to tell them that I'm their friend. Oh, really? Yeah, if they're an old that. person, I can be like, yeah, I'm just, I'm your friend. I'm just, we should, br- oh, did you, remember that um, idea that we had about um, being the people who turn off people's life support? <laughs> and As long as we're included in their wills. <laughs> so basically the idea was like, we wanted to kill people. We find people who are like about to die, who have no family and are very wealthy. And we go up to them and we say, we'll turn off your life support if you include us in your will. And then they include us in their will and we turn off their life support. It's a win-win because we're, we're legally killing people. Well, we're, that would actually be illegal. The legal way to do it oh. is if we were the, like, the people who turned off the life support anyway, but then like behind the books we told people that we'd only do it if they oh, include okay. us in their will. Okay. Yeah. Well, it still kind of works. Yeah. Uh, and then we get a lot of money. We get a lot of money. For just flicking a switch. Flicking <laughs> For killing someone. Well, technically not killing them. Well, we are, but like... You know. No, they were gonna die anyway. Yeah, they're old. Um, <laughs> yeah, have you heard about like um, the new like AI that it's like a moral AI, and basically, I don't know if it's actually like a thing yet, but they're gonna release these like um, the U.S. Army's making these like computer robot birds, and what the birds oh, do is man. they they actually have the behavioural patterns of other birds, so they'll flock together. And they're not real birds. They're not real birds, and then they'll sit places and as soon as one of the birds you know identifies like a terrorist or a like a criminal oh or whatever they'll all flock there and just kill the person and then disappear <laughs> again but like i feel like that's really dodgy because like humans aren't judging if that's actually the person it's yeah like computer yeah judging it's it. it it could like just kill an innocent uh, person civilian yeah yeah and um self-driving cars something cool on that um nvidia made their own self-driving car yeah yeah and it learns off other like real humans driving cars and it drives as well as humans do so it's wow. like way better than all the other self-driving cars at the moment what the self-driving cars at the moment they're not as good as people they're not as no they're not nowhere near as good as people whereas this one is like almost as good I'd say I'm better than that self-driving car wow well, it's I'm, a matter of opinion I'm a great driver yeah but 
You don't know. If I had ever, my keys. Have you ever burst it? In a Drive race. off. <laughs> um, It'd be like a video game, but, oh, but in do real that. life. Yeah. Drive off. Um, another really interesting thing to do with AI is there's a new app. It's called like Babylon. You can't get it in Australia, unfortunately. Mm. But um, it, you know, it uses all web-based stuff to, you know, um, identify what illness or disease you have. And it's 93% accurate Whoa. compared to doctors, 82% or nurses, 77%. So it's actually more accurate than doctors or nurses. Can I get it now? Can no, it's it now? not in Australia. Oh, man. It's really Is it in other countries annoying. already? Yeah, like, it's in other countries. Like fully out? Yeah, in America. I, I want that. We could probably download it like off the internet. Yeah, yeah. Like torrent it. Yeah. Um, but it was, that was an interesting thing I read. I mean, what? I don't torrent if any government official is, <laughs> is <laughs> I mean, watching, <what? laughs> listening. Yeah. Um, what other interesting stuff is going on in the world of computers? Um, oh, the new the new iPhone came out without a headphone jack. Oh yeah, but that's like old news. Everyone knows that. Yeah. The um, new Google phone came out. Hey. Got released today. Got launched. Yeah. Nexus. Well, not no, today. not the Nexus. The Pixel. Phone. The Pixel phone. I don't think it's too good. Yeah, I don't think it looks amazing. Yeah. Um. I wish we could, uh, put, we should put, uh, pictures of stuff on, on our podcast. We yeah. could. We could, like, put pictures of, of all There's these... There's a spider in the water. Wow. There's water spiders. Water spiders. Um... There's, like, a water version of, of all different animals. There's... But that, there's not water there's water snakes. Oh, water, yeah, there's no water humans. How do we know there's no water humans? Ooh. Atlantis. Mermaids. Dun, dun, dun. How, how far in are we? We're about 11 minutes in. Oh, well, that's... I think that's, that's pretty, pretty good. good. All right, time to say goodbye. All right, uh, this has been Jason Laws. I'm Jace. I'm Laws. See this you guys. This is Jason Laws. Bye. Bye.